Hello, this is Jay Rodman. Um, welcome back to Bardstale 3. Uh, today, we're finishing up the Black Tower to correctly position my little avatar. We just arrived in the Black Tower. I guess we're facing east. And it's time to start exploring, looking for those nasty black-robed mages we're expecting to find. Oh, and the first thing I need to do Given the difficulty of the gray mages, is to save my game. Where the heck is the character disc? There we go. Yes. And dungeon disc back in. And off we go. Okay, so. zoom out a bit so that I can put markers on the side of the map. Oh my goodness, I am bumbling with the key interface here. Okay, so stairs are here. I don't need those. I also, oh my goodness, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm propagating the error downward through the maps. Okay, back up to four. Here we are. Uh, what I want is the trap. We spotted a trap to the east. To the north, there's something. To the west, a trap. And to the south, something. So the somethings and the traps may well be the same with the wraparounds. But uh, now that we've taken a look around, I guess I should start putting the things I can actually see down. There's a wall fragment right there. Way down to the south. Uh, oh, that's the same wall fragment seen with wraparound. Um, I think that's the same wall fragment seen with wraparound. Okay. So at least there's something to orient with. Uh, what does... Okay, the... Um... The auto map has a lot to say. It's curious that it's drawing these lines the same way, even though uh, the first one I can see and the rest I can't. So I don't know what to make of that yet. Due south, it's suggesting there's a full thickness wall, which is probably going to be invisible. In fact, there's probably invisible walls all along here, it's just some of them are going to be uh, one way in various manners. I think that the wall immediately south is going to be a one way south. Uh, of course this is all a little bit speculative, so let's start testing it out. Uh, hitting, pushing north, we get no progress. Kicking north, no progress. So the northern wall is confirmed. Facing east, also there's an invisible wall there. Facing west, okay, so there's only one way to go to the south. Based on the auto map, I think it's going to be a one way. But for the moment, I'm going to put down a message. As you step out, st as you step into this area, you see a vision of a dark circle eclipsing a scarlet moon. The moon vanishes, and the dark disc pulses with vibrant and ebon power. So we got an eclipse of the moon. Uh, with some kind of... I mean, ebon is... I don't know, I guess it's used heavily in this game. I've been playing 
uh, Cthulhu stuff, reading about weird fiction. And so that's what it makes me think of right now. think about it i don't really know i don't really understand what who who are those mages are those like agents of tarjan are they i mean they, they feel like they should be more about you know the place of magic so we're here in the you know place of magic and you think they'd be defenders of the secrets and therefore only accidentally trying to kill me but Maybe I'm just misunderstanding. So here we've definitely found a spell point drain. And now that we're on the south edge of this row, it seems like this is definitely a two-way wall to the north. try to yank in the sleep mage right away since he or she cast those spells that um, seem to reduce our chance to hit. I failed to pull them in, incidentally. I'm going to try again. Sleep Mage, Melee Man. It worked. Okay. So... Kill a glacier golem, kill a sleep mage, heal the party, hide in shadows. My assassin, Elena, is slowly creeping up on this arctic mage, who seems blissfully unaware, or maybe blissful is not an accurate description of his emotional state, but whatever. He's not doing anything about it. I wish I could attack B when I was fighting a summoner that hadn't summoned yet. Okay. I just figure I'll cap capture, capture? Pick up? The odd experience point while searching for the bosses of this level. Hmm. I wish I had a faster. Oh, there is a faster way to get to things you've used recently, but I've used too many things recently. Okay, so a drop up here. 
something something here thank you um to the south we see this we see a something can, can i reliably put the some things where i want okay great uh trying to move south we cannot West works into another spell point drain zone. I think I'm gonna just accept it. Turning north, can't move. Turning south, can't move. I also can't move west, so I'm in a dead end of invisible walls. Okay, so turning around. Oh, was I? I think I was facing south without realizing it. I'm a dummy. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, I just was facing the wrong way. Okay, so wrapping around to over here. I didn't check to see whether there were notifications or things north or south properly, but I don't think there were. So there's a spinner. Something to the south and the far west, I think. Yeah. I'm thinking there's probably a row of special squares uh, somewhere to the south. Okay, so I'm not sure why I didn't notice the sound of silence up ahead. It makes me wonder. No, I don't want to save my game. I want to cast a spell. Second sight. Did I step in an odd zone without realizing it? I don't know. But I moved over here. I stepped here. This is definitely a silence, and I don't want it to be purple. Can we go back north? Didn't think so. So the walls will be purple. Can we go south? We can into darkness. And if I believe the auto map, uh, something like walls on both sides here and to the immediate north. What just fell off? Um, sorcerer's sight or second sight or whatever I cast.
uh, okay, it occurs to me that I marked that wall inaccurately. It's a one-way wall. But now we're going to turn around and go back south. And as I wrap around, from here I can sense the silent space. Must have been careless. I get a little careless when I end up in magic drain or hit point drain. I'm like, oh, gotta get out, gotta get out. So nothing interesting east or west. South, the silence as previously mentioned. Um, if I'm reading the map correctly, this is going to be a one-way wall back into the stairway. Which leaves this zone and this, this little bits. So, first question, can we go back north? We can. Back into the darkness if we want. Okay, stepping one west. Uh, from here we can detect a trap and a spinner. We hear the trap was north, here the trap is south. Pretty sure the trap's actually in the middle. something is one of these two. Um, oh wait, we detected the something facing north, and that would have been from here. So one, two, three, the something is, is here. And not here. And I can drop this, because I know where it is. Can I move north? Yes, I can. And now I'm standing into something, which is not a hit point drain. It is spell point regen. exploring this little quadrant. Uh, facing east, there's a something. Facing west, there's a something. I kind of expected there would be some things all along this row, but I don't know where they are. I spare sleep mages call me. It's too many mages. Too many mages. Okay, so in front of me is an invisible wall. To the east of me is an invisible wall. If I go back south... You guys can, you guys can die. That's fine, but you, you're, you're not gonna waste all my spell points. I am appreciating that I can check my position quickly, at least since the levels are torturous. In Bardstead 1 I always had to cast a spell if I wanted to check position. But the balance was such that um, it was way easier to keep track of where you were and I didn't have to check very often. Pretty much always knew where I was. Mm, one called mage, I can fight that. even if he's going to hit me for 122 points of damage. I 
They always go for Gris. Well, they don't always go for Gris Knock. They just prove my prove me wrong. Oh, and they called me just summon friends, right? No more friends. Okay, well, no more friends after this song. Okay, advance. And advance. Yeah, keep on trying to summon things. No one's coming. I sang the song of You Are Screwed. If it goes, Sha na na na, na 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 na, hey hey hey, say goodbye. No more call mages. Mm. An unidentified weapon. Somehow it's more exciting. I mean, I know why it's more exciting. But I always am like, oh, maybe that's gonna be a really good weapon I haven't seen before. And when first visiting somewhere, that actually can happen. I don't think it's gonna happen at this point. I've been in Glidia for quite some time now. Well, it's not new, and I don't want it. Okay. What's this space? Is this a magic space? No. To the north, nothing seems to be happening like hit points dropping. And it's another spell point regen. fight or not okay can I go west and wrap around yes uh, let's turn north We'll kill ice bears. They're not endangered, except by me. I really like that paw motion that uh, whoever drew drew in there. I I forget the name of Kamasta Todd Kamasta. I assume he did the art for this. He was doing the interplay art all along in this period. Uh. Ink, shorty score, attack. I, I doubt it's naturalistic at all, but I, I just kind of like the way it looks. It makes me wonder what they drew the art for this stuff on. Like, how did people make Commodore 64 art? Obviously, some people did it using, you know, hex editors and the equivalents, but if you had to make a significant amount of art and if it had to be any good, I can't imagine that's how most people did it. Yep, solid wall to the north. West? We can go west. Can we go further west? Nope. Further north? Nope. To the south we can detect stairs and know something, which makes you think I'm standing on the something. And yeah. I 
feel like the balance of this fight is not terribly magey. So I'm gonna fight it. Though I'm still gonna cast Melee Man, which is kind of expensive, to pull in those Sleep Mages and maybe some anti magic. Come on, Sleep Mages, come to me. Oh, I should be using that Master Wand every turn because I still want to figure out whether the Master Wand with no number um, lasts forever. Master Wand on Ice Bear, sure. I feel like there's a difference between the Apple II version and the Commodore. It's pretty subtle. I really don't remember my Rogue ever getting hit, even on returns where she attacked. Whereas in uh, the Commodore, it seems like when you're high the turn you hide you're safe but the turn you jump at an attack you're uh vulnerable i could just have bad memory Master Wand on Ice Bears. If I'd had this Master Wand in Underbray, it would have been so, so, so overly strong. But here, it feels like a curiosity. It's like, okay, I can do 120 damage a turn to a person, to a whole group, and it costs me nothing. And it doesn't matter because uh, they have more than 500 hit points. I'm getting pretty confident that it never runs out, though. Okay, refilling Griselda's spell points. happened there oh wait what how did, i must have been facing oh there i was facing south i thought i was facing west so um well whoop that is not what i meant to do this is they they have different art i'll say that so um I went south, and I'm pretty sure the bosses are here. It's a good thing I refilled Griselda's spell points. <laughs> I didn't. Okay. Um, uh, 
I am again going to try with the far foe because I feel like if they can't cast a lot of spells on me, then I win. So use the Aram's Knife. Use Holy TNT. Use... No, you should sing. I don't know whether they're going to summon stuff. I'm going to start with Bring Around Ballad. Uh, hide, of course. Cast Luck. Cast Far Foe. Cast Anti Magic. Yes. Okay, so some of them are casting spells that don't work. Uh, I think they just turned me to stone, but, oh, because they do summon stuff. Attack, attack that stuff. I'm going to improve my armor class if they're going to be summoning things. Keep hiding. Cast stuff. Stone to flesh on Elendor to get my caster back. No one's super wounded. I'm going to cast another anti-magic. In the hopes that it reduces the number of times I get turned to stone. Okay, well, Elendor got killed again, but being dead is a lot more fixable than being stone. So cast Heal. And you should cast Barfo. Maybe I can finally push them away. They turned me to stone again. Oh, I finally pushed them away. Okay. Maybe I'm far enough away that they're not going to turn me to stone anymore. Okay. Uh, attack the Slayer. Attack the Slayer. Hide. Cast Invisibility. Cast Heal. Uh, cast Godfire? I don't think I can reach them with Godfire. Or Cold. Can you do anything useful? Oh, you can cast Luck. We're just You can just cast Luck and Luck and Luck. That's useful. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, you can heal someone before... Uh, returning them back from being stone. Hide stone to flesh on Chantrell. And anti magic. And use a gem. Okay, I wish I could manually reorder my um, party during combat. It's oh, I would be okay if it like took someone's turn to do it. That that would seem sort of like a price of dying. But the thing where they, I mean, the bard in the back is kind of fine, I guess. You shouldn't be complaining. Invisibility. I don't know what to do. Um. Uh. Fear. Can that reach that far? Luck. And Bard Song 3.
Do I have any spells? Whoop, that's uploading. Where's my spells? What spells do I have that go 90 feet? Mangar's Mallet I don't have, according to the way the game is supposed to play out. Uh, these are Geomancer spells. So, no. I don't think I even have any equipment that goes that far. Uh, this is my Google Drive where I upload the maps of these sessions. Okay, so um, I guess it's just a waiting game then. Uh, attack the Slayer, attack the other Slayer, hide again. Um, defend, 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 barred four. Yes. I may actually, um, assuming this goes well, I may well run this combat and fast forward. Because I think what I'm going to do is have my rogue sneak over and kill them one at a time. I ended up doing in this combat uh, was just having fun with stacking Rhyme of Duo time. Just to see how many attacks my party members could get in. Uh, Grizznak and Lady Oakshield end up hitting like 22 times or so. They do barely any damage though, it's not very exciting. But there are a few strikes from Elena that uh, get into the big numbers. Ching! Nearly 1,500 damage that time. At this point, 
I get bored of how long it's taking, and I figure there's only two of them. So we resort to melee men, pull them in, and slaughter them. Okay, the black mages are down. I got a bard bow, which I already have, so I'm dropping that. On a small pedestal that was once guarded by the black wizards is a black lens. Who wants to get the black lens? I'm gonna say Grisnak, but Grisnak is full, so I'll say Lady Oakenshield. Several bodies are stacked here, and, oh, come on, let me read the, let me read the text. Go away. Several bodies are stacked here and they look like they have been run to a garbage disposal. So if I remember it correctly, we got Cuisinart, maybe? I don't know. One of them was food processor and one of them was garbage disposal. Uh, bard bow, go away. I don't need you. I already have one of you and only one of us is a bard. Okay, so let's double check where we were when we encountered them yeah right where i thought the right right uh before right before the one-way wall headed out oh i have to reorder my party so i know where people are again okay uh Light, please. Not that it really shows me much. One east. One north. Wait around to see if it's a spell point regen. It is. gives no hints as to how we possibly would get into these squares. So I'm going to start with phase door. And then I'm going to try Port Arcane. That didn't work. I don't think we can get in there. I think these are inaccessible. Um, I suppose we could try the one place where there's a normal wall. As if it's a hint or something. I'm giving up on, on getting in there and I'm going to decide it's a, some kind of dead zone. Uh, where's the map? The trap marker. No traps. Whoa, I'm going the wrong way. That's the known trap. No trap there. No trap there. So, 
Yeah, that's the one trap. No, I want to move my little guy. Okay, there we go. down the stairs. I don't know why. But I can't go west? What? what? Oh, is there actually a, a wall or at the edge of the, at the edge of the map? That is surprising. I don't know Mako. Just freaking cast it. No. Oh, my, my casters are in the wrong order because one of them turned to stone too and I forgot to reorder them. Okay. You cast Mako. From here, you go one east and two north. Okay, so... At this point, we are back in the Ice Keep. Theoretically, the quest is done. Realistically, we are missing a lens because if you use the lenses not all at once, you lose them and have to get them again. So, um, I'm gonna do that as a special session. The fetch, fetch the lens and Seed. So, this has been Jay Rodman playing Bright's Tale 3. And the next thing I'm going to do before proceeding on my quest is flail randomly with spells and then level up my paladin. I'll see you next time for uh, the quick trip through Grey Tower and discovery of whatever comes next. Uh, see you then.